Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into assert not equals method. The assertions class provides the static assert not null equals method, which we can use to verify that two values are not equal. Well, if you want to verify that the actual value is not equal to expected value, then we can use assert not equals method. If the actual value is not equal to expected value, then the test case will pass. If the actual value is equal to expected value, the test case will fail. So this assert not equals method is exactly opposite to assert equals method that we saw in a previous lecture. Next, let us go ahead and let us see the overloaded methods of assert not equals method. So let us head over to the API documentation over here. This is the assertions class. Within that, let us search for assert not equals. And notice here there are a lot of assert not nulls equals, you know, overloaded methods over here. And all of them are static methods. So in order to support different data types, they have created, uh, you know, so many assert not null equals method over here. We will see the important ones. Okay. So basically we use assert not null equals method to assert or check the expected and actual values are not equal. All right. So let us go and let us see the usage of, you know, some of the important assert not equals method in an action. So let us head over to the integer idea over here and go to our project. And here, let me minimize this and go to student service test class. Here, let us quickly create a test method. So for that, just type public and then wide. Let's give a method name as get student by ID test using assert not equals. Perfect. Next, let us mark this method as a test method by using add test annotation over here. Next, within this method, let us write the logic to unit test get student by ID method. Next, let us create a student service class object and let's also create one student object and let us add to the list. Well, if you visit the previous method, here we have created student service object, a student class object, and we have used get student by ID method over here. Okay, so let us go ahead and let's copy this piece of code so that we can save some time. And here just go inside this method and paste it. Now we have created student service class object and we have created student class object and we have added that student to the list. And then here we are calling get student by ID method by passing student ID one. Now this actual object contains a student object. Next, let us go ahead and let us use assert not equals method to verify that two values are not equal. If two values like actual value and expected values are not equal, then the test will pass. So here just type assert not equals. All right. And then pass the expected value. Let us say one. So let us first verify that the student ID is not equal. So here first parameter, the expected value one and the actual value, actual object dot get ID. So notice here student has a student ID one and we are expecting the ID also one. So both are equal. That's why this assert fails and eventually the test case also fail. Okay. So if I run the test case over here, you can see the test fails. Next here, let us pass the expected two. So basically we want to verify that the both the values are not equal, right? So assert not equals method we use to verify that both the values are not equal. Then only the test case will pass. So in this case, the student ID is one and the expected value is two. So both are not equal. That's why the test case will pass. For example, here, if I run the test case, you can see test passes. Next, let us go and let us use some of the overloaded methods of this assert not equals method. So here just type assert not equals. And then use the method which takes string as a parameters. So just type first parameter as the name Ramesh 
and then second parameter student name so notice here the actual value is ramesh and we are expecting the value ramesh so both actual value and expected value are equal that's why this test will fail so here we have to use assert not equals method to verify that both the values are not equal right so here let us change the expect, expected value now actual value and expected value are not equal that's why this test will pass for example if i run the test case you can see the test passed next let us type assert not equals and just scroll down and let us use the assert not equals method that takes three parameters okay so here let us take this one and here just pass the expected expected value one and student id and then a custom failure message let us say student id is equal all right so here you can see the actual student object has id 1 and we are expecting the value 1 so both are equal that's why the test case will fail and eventually this message will be displayed in the report for example if i run the test case you can see test failed and the custom failure message is displayed over here okay next let us change the expected value to 2 and run the test case this should pass because the actual value and expected value are not equal perfect next let us have one more overloaded assert not equals method over here and then pass the name let's say ramesh and actual object dot get name all right and let us use the supplier functional interface implementation over here so we have to use lambda implementation or lambda expression to implement supplier functional interface so here in the body just pass student id is equal okay so if you notice here the actual value is Ramesh I mean actual value of student is Ramesh and we are expecting the same name here so both are equal that's why this you know assert will fail and eventually the test also will fail for example if I run the test case you can see the test is failed and if you can notice here the custom error message student id is equal next if I change the expected value both are not equal now let us rerun the test and you can see test passed okay perfect next let us see one more overloaded assert not equals method that takes an object okay assert not equals and then pass student object as a expected value and actual object as a actual value so this student object here we have created and we have added this student object to the list by using add student method and here we are calling get student by id method by using student id and this get get student by id method returns the actual student object and that is what we are passing over here notice here this student object has id 1 and name ramesh and this actual object also has the id 1 and name ramesh so both the objects are equal that's why this assert will fail and eventually the test case will also fail so if i run the test case you can notice here the test failed okay because expected not null but was object next in order to pass this test we have to pass the different expected value so here what we can do is we can create one more student and let's call it as student one and we can give different values and here as expected value we can pass student 1 now if i run the test case this should pass because the expected value is not equal to actual value 
both are different well whenever you want to verify that both the values are not equal then you can go ahead and use assert not equals method if the actual value and expected value are not equal then the test case will pass if the actual value and ex expected value are equal then the test case will fail so this is exactly the opposite to assert equals method in next lecture we'll take a look into assert array equals method all right great i will see you in the next lecture